it's very nice to finally meet you. Um, any of you that do know me, uh, my daughter Grace and my wife Ann usually come to Saturday because we sit on the left. And if you see the three of us, you'll realize that I truly am the thorn between two roses. <laughs> Ann and I met while we were going to Kansas State, and although it seems like it was just a few days ago, she and I have been married for 22 years. And I've been very blessed with that. Uh, I retired from the Army about seven years ago, and I currently work for the Stable House of Veteran Employment Specialist. When we were getting ready to retire, we wanted to put Grace in a good school system and be in a good community. And we started looking around, and I actually attended one of the spring cleanup days. I still distinctly remember seeing Tony Devos on top of the ladder and thinking to myself, you got some really high nice standards here and some really good people. What we were most impressed with the parish is it was vibrant, welcoming, and growing. Uh, as Grace is going through her first one of the United States, I decided to go through the RCA process. I was truly blessed to have mentor as Jim Hunt. I am still thankful that he is my mentor and true friend. I don't know how much Carol does it, but I'm very thankful that he's in our lives. Uh, Anna and I are ushers. Uh, we also, uh, Grace is a server, and I'm on one of our strategic planning units. Some of the principles for the participation in the SAC class of giving return to the Lord, part of the gift He has given, the treasure. Sometimes it is difficult for us to trust, take our hands off the wheel. I, like I'm sure everybody else, has gone through some financial difficulties, especially in the last few years. But I know, and Ian was very calming in this, that if we trust and do what we need to do to take care of others, things seem to work out very well, and they have. And I've been very blessed and, and blessed with many things in my life because of that. Making the gift of sacrifice. A sacrifice is plain. Um, sacrifice changes us. And sometimes it really is better to give than it is to receive. <coughs> a couple years ago when Grace was nine, we went to the Hartville Elementary Carnival. <coughs> Any parent that's gone to one of the carnival and had their kids there, they all know that the big deal is getting the goldfish. And Grace was real proud of herself. She had two of them. Unfortunately, one of our neighbors uh, with his twin kids, and they were four years old at the time, got up there, their chance to throw the ball and get the fish. They ran out of fish. Needless to say, those two four-year-olds were just distraught beside themselves and in tears. I was very proud of Grace that she just walked up to them and handed those two children her two fish. There was no sacrifice that any of the adults could have done that night to take care of those four kids for those two kids. However, that sacrifice that my daughter made was proportionally very big for her. As I grew up in church, it was uh, the biblical norm of the tithing of 10%, a goal. This could be 5% for the parish, 5% for the charity. Uh, our parish has multiple ways that we can do this, whether that be the envelope or through the online um, automatic withdrawal. Again, the gift is a plan sacrifice. I personally like the donation card. That way I could see it go in the basket and brought to the altar. It was also a good way for Ann and I to show grace putting that in, that donation into the basket going forward. Many of these donations, sacrifices that we've all done benefit not only our family but our community. Uh, we were very thankful in our parish to have an amazing education program administered by Ann Weeks and Kathy Donald. If you've ever seen any of our children programs, the outreach that they do in the community and throughout the United States, we are very blessed in that fact. Our Lake Fish does many wonderful things for the community. I and Anna participated in some of the runs, so it's nice to see that effort be given back to the community. The periodic donations that we all give in baskets for the migrant farmers, families in need, and others at times is a true blessing for the community. In closing, I'd just like to share. Um, my first unit's motto was deeds above words. And I would ask is that you go in peace and do the Lord's work, that you continue to help us, that our church stay vibrant and growing. Thank you.